Thank you, Madam President. The EU has a good story to tell about its work to protect children. Earlier this year, in the Strengthened Law on Trafficking, we included a requirement to appoint a guardian for unaccompanied child victims, which hopefully will help to stop their disappearance from uh, care back to the clutches of the trafficking gangs. The new directive will mean child sex abusers and porn merchants would face a greater prospect of life behind bars. MEPs rightly fought for tougher sentences. It's also very important that we successfully insisted on the ability to prosecute EU citizens who go abroad as sex tourists. I heard horror stories on this on a visit to Cambodia a few years ago. Many other, among many other initiatives, I would mention mutual recognition of disqualifications from working with children, cross-border exchange of criminal records so abusers can be tracked when they move, and particular protection of child victims and suspects in the criminal justice system. But I would like to say a word about something Commissioner Malmström mentioned, which was the 116000 number for missing children. It's still not operational in, I think, 11 member states, although that was required by last May. In addition, there are problems with using mobile phones outside one's home country because there is a dispute about who picks up the roaming charges. And I would urge Commissioner Malmström to get to grips with this problem and talk to the mobile phone uh, companies, uh, indeed all the phone companies, and try and resolve this problem of the roaming charge, because until that's sorted out, we will not have a universal hotline for missing children.